Hello everyone and welcome to lesson number 7, unit 2 of Learn Polish with Darek. This will be the last lesson uh, connected to reading, more or less uh, connected. So, uh, special signs, znaki specjalne. Okay, so the, the most uh, commonly used uh, special sign is of course the dot, uh, which in Polish language is kropka. 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 All right, uh, next one would be the comma. And this one we call przecinek. 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 Uh, this is somehow uh, related to cutting, so przecinać means to cut. And I guess uh, when you use comma, you kind of uh, cut the sentence into small, uh, smaller uh, portions. All right, then uh, next one is the colon. So uh, Polish name for it is uh, more straightforward, straightforward, I would say. And uh, it's called dwu kropek, so two dots more or less. Dwu kropek, dwu kropek. Uh, okay, so the the semicolon. Uh, it's not uh, as straightforward, and this one is called średnik. Średnik. Shredding. All right, so the next one will be really easy. Apostrophe. Uh, this one, uh, I guess, uh, we took from uh, English language, and the name for it in Polish is apostrophe. A postrof. Apostrof. Uh, the next one, uh, this one might be a little bit funny. Uh, so, at sign. At sign, for some reason, in Poland is called maupa. And maupa means a monkey. And I'm not really sure why that is, but maybe it's because of the, the shape. Uh, maybe it reminded somebody the monkey with a really long tam tail around it. But yeah, okay, uh, maupa. And the next one would be a dash sign. So just the uh, line horizontal. And uh, in Polish, this one we call myślnik. And this, uh, I guess, uh, has something to do with thinking because uh, myśleć in Polish language uh, means to think. But yeah, mm, the dash in Polish language is myślnik. And uh, the next one is slash. So slash and the backslash, I guess, would be called the same in Polish language. And uh, we call them ukośnik. 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 And this more or less means just line uh, which is not straight. Okay, so next very important one commonly used is a question mark. And this is also really a simple translation. So znak zapytania and uh, znak means mark and zapytania basically means a question. So Znak zapytania. Znak zapytania. And next one would be exclamation mark. And this one we call wykrzyknik. So this basically is a variation of the word krzyk. And krzyk means to yell or to shout. So, wy, krzyk, nik. 
Next one, the quotation mark, we called it Tsudzisuf. This is uh, because uh, Tsudzi means somebody else's and uh, Suovo means a word. So this is of course used for quotations, so to use somebody else's words. So we call it Tsudzi Suov. Tsudzi Suov. And uh, asterisk, this one is just a star in Polish. So Gwiazdka, which means a little star. Uh, so I will get to that uh, eventually, but in Polish we do have a way uh, to pronounce almost every uh, verb in a way that uh, you right away know that you are talking about something uh, small. So it's like John and Johnny. Johnny right away uh, gives you the impression that you're talking about uh, a kid probably. So Gwiazdka means a little star. Okay, other uh, signs, special signs that you might use are the uh, parentheses. And uh, in Polish language, we call all of them navias. And uh, navias can be just a regular one with no extension. And uh, next one would be a square bracket, which we call navias kwadratowy. So square is a kwadrat. So navias kwadratowy. V. Kvadratov. All right, and uh, next one is Navias Klamorov, so curly bracket. And uh, this is also Navias in Polish, so Klamrov. Klamrov. So the last one uh, that we are going to cover today is the special sign of space. So basically uh, we do not have our own word for it I guess. So we just used the, the English uh, word space and we made it sound uh, a little bit more Polish. And uh, yeah it's called spacja. So uh, that would be it. Now you know the Polish uh, names for all the special signs. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.